Fire safety in buildings is important to protect both people and the security of a property. Marshall Fire is a fire safety engineering consultancy providing professional services and industry expertise for the life cycle of buildings. I spoke with its managing director, Stephen Marshall. Steve, thanks so much for joining us here today. We know that sadly there have been a lot of very prominent high profile fires in the news the last few years. How far would you say that building design has changed, evolved recently? Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's uh, evolved hugely. I mean, the approved document B is the sort of fire safety design code of practice. And now that kind of requires us to look at buildings sort of at a high rise and, and now they sort of have a minimum of sort of two escape staircases, um, the height with which you have to have sort of sprinklers within a building sort of now come down. Um, there's now sort of guidance around sort of evacuation lifts in buildings um, and also kind of obviously tight controls in terms of what you can do with external walls and the combustibility of components and other things within them. Um, so yeah, it's evolved a lot certainly since the Greenfield tragedy. How important is it to educate the public in terms of fire safety? Yeah, I think it's, it's hugely important. Um, I mean, ultimately, I can remember growing up um, when you watch television, there'd be sort of several sort of TV campaigns around kind of, you know, sparklers and the use of matches and, and open heat sources and and, uh, and kind of smoke detectors, all that kind of thing. But it kind of feels sort of these days that you don't necessarily get that sort of exposure, um, which might obviously be sort of systemic with the way we sort of now receive news, obviously by our apps and streaming services and things. But um, ultimately, it kind of feels like you don't really get the same sort of messages that you used to. And tell us a bit more about Marshall Fire and what it is that you do. No, certainly. I mean, we're, we're a fire safety consultancy, so we do a lot of work in sort of building design. So when a client has a new building, we'd look at that and look at the height of it and the use of it uh, and suggest a certain package of measures that, that would be considered appropriate under the building regulations uh, and also obviously in terms of fire safety generally and really help them through the design and build process. But then also, I guess, with existing buildings as well, we can go into those and sort of survey them, um, find any defaults and suggest measures to sort of make buildings safer ultimately. And how do you work with the industry more widely? Um, well, we kind of interact with a wide range of, of, of consultancies and, and design um, bodies and things. So we work with kind of architects, developers, um, uh, builders, um, a real sort of wide range. Because I mean, our, our recommendations sort of really do cut into various different parts of building design and construction. And how has technology changed in terms of advancing fire systems and therefore our safety? Um, there has been some change, certainly. There's been a bit of evolution, but um, I think it's not really kind of caught up with where we are in terms of the sort of wider sort of uh, industry in with sort of technology moving on so far as, as it has. Um, I mean, you have wireless fire detection systems that are sort of remotely monitored these days as well, but still meet sort of British standards. Um, but, but generally it feels as though there could be, could be some sort of big improvements made. What sort of thing, what needs to be done, would you say? Um, well, I think it's probably sort of look, need to have a look at sort of research and development. Um, and I think for me, a big thing is, is the education side of it, sort of making people aware of sort of basic fire safety things like, you know, closing fire doors within dwellings, because a lot of people don't know that the doors in dwellings are fire doors. So they should be kept shut to sort of keep them safe at night and things. Um, so it's kind of things like that, I think, sort of a, a, a wider sort of package of measures, I think. More awareness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Steve Marshall, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.